It is happening in the capital city. Just about a week later is Waterfire's seventh annual Fireball, and it's to celebrate the accomplishments of local community leaders. And joining us here on the, in the big room and on the couch today is our good friend uh, Waterfire's Ed Cabral. Good morning, Ed. Hey, good morning. Thanks Will. for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right, so this is a uh, this is a, look. It's a great night for for so many people here in in Providence, in Rhode Island itself. So so tell us about the the night itself. Sure. So uh, this is our one and only annual gala and fundraising event that mm -hmm. we try to raise money for the, the events that we do downtown and just all the programs that we do, specifically Art Lab and uh, ac uh, uh, Accelerate uh, program. But it starts at 7 o'clock. We have a VIP hour. We're going to have some live music. Uh, we'll have a sit-down dinner uh, catered by Russ Morans, some delicious wine. I was going to say, <laughs> good stuff, right? <laughs> of course. Um, and we're going to have tons of you know, uh, performances throughout the night. We're going to give out some awards. So it's going to be a great evening. Yeah. Well, tell us about the uh, the winners of these uh, these awards that are going to be handed out. Yeah. So we took a look at all the, the, the different folks that are in Rhode Island and kind of the impacts that they've made in the community. So we're honoring um, Barbara Pepito, who um, you know um, heads the Pepito Opportunity Connection right. for the Philanthropic uh, Leadership Award. Uh, Honorable David Cicilline for the Civic Leadership Award. Okay. Uh, and then we also have uh, Dr. Um, oh, wait, it's like S S Silas S yep. Pinto. Okay. <laughs> As we, I, we call him Tigri right. all the time, so it's like I always call him Tigri. So uh, he's doing the Cultural Impact Award. And right. then for the Creative Impact Award, we have Umberto Bert Krenka. What a name, right? How do you narrow these people down? I mean, there are so many people that, that do such great stuff for, for not only Providence, but for the state, that it has to be tough to kind of whittle it down and bring uh, these we people went together. Through a whole list and bring, not a, just a whole list of, you know, folks that we felt that were really important. And, you know, right. especially with Barbara and the, the work that her organization has done to empower all these nonprofits in Rhode Island. Of course, you know, David Cicilline, his work not only here as mayor in, in Providence, but also his work in Congress, and, right. you know, and then now he's heading up the Rhode Island Foundation. And then Tigri, who uh, has been working, who works at the uh, uh, City Hall at the uh, um, Department of uh, Arts and Culture and Tourism. Okay. But he's also been performing uh, with his group at Waterfire for the last 20 years, and he does a capoeira, you know, um, performances with his group of folks. Awesome. And then Bert. He started AS220, my goodness. Right, I mean, which has so been around for a long time exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the, the event's going to take place in just, in a, if you have not been to the Water Fire Art Center, it's just a beautiful location and a perfect place to hold an event like this. It's tons of space. We're going to have, you know, fashion show. We're going to have dance performance. We're going to have Big Lux doing uh, his thing as right. well. And as a special, you know, treat. Uh, we're opening Bert's show, A Divine Providence, to, uh, tomorrow night. And awesome. so when you come in for the gala, you'll go through the um, visitor's um, center right. where we're going to have over 300 of his works on display. And it's called Divine Providence because it's 300 paintings that he's done of cityscapes, um, houses, these different little moments throughout the city yep. of Providence that just capture the, the essence of what we you know, our city is. And quickly, if you can, if somebody wants to buy tickets for this event, how we, how do we do that? Just go to waterfire.org okay. and um, as soon as you go to our website, you'll see the pop-up okay. fireball tickets. And buy your tickets. And there is a water fire this weekend too, Yeah, right? there is. Yeah, we're, night. We have a busy October. Yeah. Saturday night, we have a full water fire lighting with Great. Brown University. Perfect, perfect. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Thanks Thank so you, much Will. for coming in. Always good to see you, Ed. Now you can get tickets for Waterfire's Fireball online. Just head on over to rojo.com.